Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 384. I am your host, Sanso, and we got a lot of news this week, so let's not dilly-dally and jump right into it. So in today's news, Ember is a dude in the Greek version of My Little Pony Season 7. So, yay! Um, in, the few f- in the first few intros, we get to see... Uh, sorry, no, <laughs> not the first few... Um, remember in season seven when uh, season seven episode one, I think, where Starlight got her uh, med- medal, uh, and Twilight is just thinking about where to send Starlight for her um, lesson or whatnot. You you know what like Celestia did with Twilight, and in this one, uh, we we remember the scene where. Uh, Twilight sent Ember to the... Sorry, not Ember, but Twilight sent Starlight to the Dragonland. And when Ember first appeared in the Greek version, she... She's a dude. Like, deep voice, manly um, mannerism. And I think that could be um, the fault of the voice director interpreting the scene as Ember trying to sound manly. You remember the one where they chest bump and do the awesome um, pro fist shake, whatever it is. So that could be the fault of the voice director not knowing who Ember is. But in all honesty, if they've been doing this for a while now, they should know that Ember is a girl. Huh. So, that's food for thought. And I say voice acting fail. Yes. But it's funny. Just go check it out, guys. It's really funny. And moving on to the next news. Discovery Family Instagram posts several villain Q&A clips. So, in <laughs> if you guys have Instagram, you should go check it out. But if not, you can just check it out here in the link below. So, anyway... Is it this way? Is it this way? No, it's that way. Yeah, yeah. Y- you should go check it out there. <laughs> so anyway, um, some guy on the Instagram just asked Grogar what's his favorite thing or stuff or vacation spots and whatnot. And there, th- let's just say that there's a few video response here that are really fun. I especially like T-Rex answer when um, who does he look up to and he says he looks up to doing the Rock Johnson because of how masculine he is, how handsome he looks, and how he can rock a fanny pack. So, yeah, that's there too. So, yeah, th- th- that's just really awesome. So, uh, me saying it is not going to be worth much, but you guys should check it out. It's really fun. Next on the list is the HX rebrands to Wild Brain. So, I got no idea why they did this. And it seems that they have some, what you call this, PR jargon to say why. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Rebranding as Wild Brain embrace our commitment to creativity, imagination, and innovation. And our 360 approach to brand management. For many years, our Wild Brain group has been at the leading edge of the digital media business. As that landscape continues to rapidly, <coughs> as that, where am I? Okay, uh, as that landscape continues to rapidly evolve, now is the time to unify all the parts of our company under both the name and entrepreneurial cr- culture that Wild Brain represents. So it seems that, mm, okay, if I do remember right. Uh, DHX used to have some other subdivisions of their company doing other things or some stuff. I, I, I don't really remember. But with the rebranding here, they could put everything under one roof and make things a lot simpler for them in terms of business. But we're not really into the business thing. So, yeah, I guess. But... Congratulations on the rebranding, I guess. And why does their logo look so strange with googly eyes? 
Eh, I guess it's, it was what you do, Rose. It was you do. But anywho, um, let's move on to the next news. Oh, boys. And in the next news, Sunset Shimmer is by, according to K. Headley, director of Equestria Goals. So, in a recent Twitter conversation done by WebKeek, she mentions that she don't really under she she noticed that a lot of timber twi flashlight and f- flash shimmer shippers are very homophobic she noticed that and that's concerning and the director just comes in and says for i sunset is bi so they're haters me and yeah uh, she also thought that it was pretty obvious mm-hmm. and also states that of uh, sh- she's not going to be setting uh, sailing ships or getting in the way of sailing ships and whatnot. So I- I'm just interested or I'm just fascinated by this because why do people think that way or why do people think that Sunset is isn't? I mean, she's a fictional character for one and you can technically do whatever or well you can think whatever you like I mean she could have been straight by this asexual a plant mm. so I, I don't know I mean this is pretty silly yet funny at the same time too I, I'm not sure it's, it's one of those things where oh boy some fans can be really really interesting but hey um as long as you're happy with your choices, don't let others spoil your fun. And be nice to other people, please. N- don't don't be a jerk. Come on. Anyway, last news is <laughs> Paramount Picture registers My Little Pony Movie dot com. Possible My Little Pony Movie news coming soon. Probably. So um if you were to go click my little pony movie dot com, you will be treated to this. Paramount, a Viacom company. So, anywho, it seems that um, there might be a My Little Pony movie in the future. So, ooh. But from the rumors that we had and been reporting that the future movie is going to be in uh, 3D or CGI and it's going to be related to the fifth generation of ponies or them trying to introduce ponies like that I'm not 100% sure if I agree to that mentality or mindset or way of doing introductions because the biggest hurdle for a show to go through or go over is their art style once you introduce an art style, people are going to be hooked with it. So if you introduce a show or a yeah, if you introduce a show with a lot of budget yet and then suddenly you go to T V, there's gonna be a cap in budget and your characters are not going to be looking as good as possible. Uh, a good example of this is the My Little Pony movie, the uh, French Race Magic movie that recently came out. That one there is a good example because we started off the show with the standard ponies using um, Flash. And then when we got to the movie version, they look really different and took a while for us to get used to them. And that was using Toon Boom. So... In this scenario here, if you start off the, if you introduce the G five ponies in the movie form, we are going to be really, really, oh sorry, we're not going to get used to the much more cheaper version of the ponies because they look different. That's my view, and that's why I think. But I don't know. Um, I'm excited for it. If the movie does come out, we'll see how it goes. I do hope that fans give it a shot even though if it's G5 and who knows maybe we'll enjoy G5 hmm. anyway that's the news for this week and let's hop on to the oh no my price so bright 
Sorry. Anyway, let's hop on to the next topic. And next topic is what have we been doing? Well, with my week. And in all honesty, my week has been dull, to say the least. I've done nothing new in terms of. Uh, yeah, I've done nothing really new. I've just been technically doing the same thing over and over again. Played Overwatch, just do work, and play Magic the Good Ring. So, that's about it, really. And, in all honesty, I, I don't feel really good. Not in terms of health, but emotionally. Things happen, and I haven't been, quote-unquote, the same I'm not sure if you guys notice it or not, but I haven't been on my A game as of late. So, sorry about that. Um, other than that, um, mm, I've got nothing new to report. Um, maybe next week I'll do something. Oh, um, tomorrow, the Sunday, which is the... What day is today? Uh, the, yeah, okay. The 29th of September, I will be doing a review podcast with Silver and the Gang. So that's going to be fun. Yep. We're going to do pony reviews and pony comics. So yay. Much fun. Much fun. But anywho, let's not dilly-dally and I can send you off. So if you guys have any questions or concerns or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And stay to radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion podcast on iTunes and stay to radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Tortera reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and specials. And also, we like to do other things other than ponies. Uh, one of the t- few things that we are doing currently is My Little Witch Academia. That's a fun anime. And yes, we do animes. Sometimes we like to do comics, depending on the situation. So, yeah, go over there to check us out. <coughs> if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me Boop. it's gonna be bright so anyway talking about the thank yous i would like to thank amy lucky knight myself lag tristan and also jeffrey thank you so much guys you are awesome and talking about awesome you guys who are listening to this right now who are watching this watching me blabber on thank you so much guys you you got no idea how happy this makes me feel just Knowing that you guys are being entertained. And I thank you so much for the privilege of entertaining you guys. Also, if you want to talk, there is the chat or the comment section below. Do spark our conversation. If if you have problems, if you feel like you want to talk about something, you know, just stuff, just get your mind off things. It's down below. Just chat up with me I read it and I will reply to you personally Norman Sanzo will personally respond to you so anyway I I Norman Sanzo um, am thank you uh, and uh, how do I put this I'm thankful to entertain you guys and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode on the show see ya